I just I'd like to start with uh, reading a little poem. It's, it's, it, it looks like a really sweet, cool poem. So, kiddos, would you like to hear a poem? Yep. It's a little story poem, I guess. And it says, The Happy Hen by Helen and Alf Evers. I'm going to read this out to you first in a simple, normal manner of reading. And then I'm going to try to make it a little exciting for you by reading it a little differently. So this is the story. Here is a happy brown hen. She hasn't any teeth like the dog, or hands like the farmer, or whiskers like the cat. And yet, she is happy. She doesn't want to moo like the cow, or to swim like the ducks. She's just a happy, stay-at-home hen. But the other chickens wanted to travel. So one day, when the gate blew open, they rushed and scrambled and flew away. But the little brown hen was too happy at home to go traveling. Then everyone said, look at the little brown hen. She is staying at home. She didn't want to go away with the rest. She must be ill. Perhaps she has a headache or a cold or a fever. So the farmer put the hen to bed near the stove. He gave her pink pills, white pills and brown pills. He mixed the poor hen a hot mustard plaster. His wife made her gargle. The baby gave her rhubarb and soda. They wrapped her in blankets with a hot water bottle until her head dropped. Her head drooped and her eyes half closed. She ached all over. So the farmer said, there's no hope. And he put the hen back in the chicken yard. Then she ran and jumped. She clucked and cackled. She looked healthier and happier than ever. And everyone said, we've cured her. But she knew why she was healthy and happy. Nobody bothered her and she was home. So that's your little story. You like the story of the hen, kiddos? Lovely. All right. I'm going to try reading it to you like this. Tell me how, you, how, how it feels if I read it to you like this. Here is a happy hen. Uh, she hasn't any teeth like the dog, or hands like the farmer, or whiskers like the cat. And she is happy, and she doesn't want to move like the cow, or to swim like the ducks. She's happy at he she's happy stay at home hen. But the other chickens wanted to travel. So one day when the gate blew open, she rushed and scrambled and flew away. Do you like that? Do you like me reading it like that, kids? Why do you like this? It's rhythm. It's rhythm. It's beatsy. What I'm going to do is... I'm going to tell you a little story myself. Books are about stories. So I'm going to tell you a little story. Uh, this is a story which my father used to tell me when I was a little kiddo. My father is a very, very great tabla player. He's a, he's a maestro of drumming. When I was a little child, I wouldn't want to practice the tabla. I wouldn't want to practice my drumming. So my father used to tell me little stories. And one of these stories used to be my favorite where he talked, he used to tell me about this little boy who goes, who goes to school every day. Every day he goes to school and every day he hopes, oh God, let it be a holiday so that I can go home. One day he reaches school, the gates are shut and the gate man says, Beta, it's a holiday today. Baba, it's a holiday. Go home. He's so happy, he dances his way back home. He dances, dances, dances. He reaches home, he rings the doorbell, his mother opens the door and he says, Mommy, guess what? It's a holiday. And mommy, like all other mummies, says, So what? Go and study. But he's so excited, he rushes out into the courtyard and he starts playing around and the mommy goes after him, catches him by the ear, you little lord, naughty little boy, come back home. Pushes him into the room. Again, he runs out. Again, she catches him, brings him back. Third time, she, uh, he does that. She rushes after him, brings him in, bangs the door shut on his face and says, study now. 
this little story used to be kind of symbolic of our times where, where uh, we used to have a little bit of ear pulling and all of that used to happen. I don't think that happens now anymore. But my father used to tell me the story in tabla language, which was very, very exciting for me. The boy goes to school, it's a holiday, he comes back home and he's he, on the way, he's dancing his way back home. And this is how it all happens in rhythmic language. So he goes to school, the gates are shut. Baba Achuti, hey, he's dancing his way back. The doorbell. Mommy, it's a holiday. Mommy, guess what? It's a holiday. Doctor, the kid in the 